Hey guys, Chris here with Cohesive Friendship Unit, just me today, and I kind of wanted to talk about something that I'm surprised we didn't hear a bit more about coming out of game outlets and YouTubers and the like. Uh, but real quick, if you have any thoughts, definitely throw a comment below. Likes are super appreciated. And if you love us, sub us. That sub will get you entered for a giveaway. So here we go. I think a lot of people were disappointed in the Bethesda's unveiling of, of Fallout 76. And if you're happy or excited about it, there's nothing particularly wrong with that. I just think that a lot of people were disappointed in it primarily being a multiplayer uh, focused experience that seems to be stripping out a lot of kind of fallout elements being that there's no NPCs uh, it's really kind of seeming like a persistent multiplayer game not quite an MMO but not quite not and it's not fallout it's it's not fallout how we think of it but the setting persists but at the same time, we had this really cool, I mean, we weren't able to see it, but there was this really cool Cyberpunk 2077 50 minute gameplay demo. And there's a lot of reports coming out of that. And I think this could kind of be the answer for, for Fallout fans, like traditional single player Fallout fans. I think this is what we should be looking for. And there's a little bit of hope. Cyberpunk 2077 is designed to be coming out current gen so it's not i mean yeah it's not coming out this year but it's not necessarily hopefully too too far out into the pipeline so it should be coming out in current gen and i think this really is the new fallout or at least for the immediate future and let me kind of go over a couple of things that cyberpunk 2077's gameplay demo kind of had to offer uh it's a first person rpg with a lot of shooting elements so you know right off the bat very similar to fallout and it's not going to be played in the third person which i guess some people played fallout in the third person but i think primarily first person uh there is going to be a kind of companion system you can have companions uh there's a bullet time system which we haven't been able to see but they i have seen bullet time mentioned so that could you know perhaps be uh analogous to like a vats type system but beyond that there's a lot of it's obviously it's an rpg uh so there's going to be those n augments uh probably not exactly like perks but they were talking about how you can for instance have your eyes swapped out and putting in a new eye will give you a different hud for example so i think that is going to be kind of analogous to the uh, site swap or the weapon customization and the full perk cust customization in Fallout, and I think the really the the thing to look at is a lot of people gave said that Fallout Three was a, a kind of a bad or New Vegas was kind of like a bad uh, RPG and a good shooter, and Fallout Four was kind of like an okay shooter but a bad RPG, and it seems like this is going to hit a good balance. I mean, this is CD Projekt Red, so if if you have seen The Witcher, that's kind of like a taste. It seems like it's going to be all of the good with none of that Bethesda jank, which is endearing to some people. And obviously the lack of mods, or robust mod support, will be uh, disappointing. And I think the only thing so far that I've seen from this gameplay demo that might disappoint people is it, the protagonist is fully voice acted, it seems. And it seems like in the conversation wheels, you don't see the word for word response. But anyways, I want to talk about a few other kind of features that seemed a little uh, fallouty. There's no class system or character class. It's it's a fluid system, uh, but you can put points into various attributes like strength, intelligence, reflex. So you know that's that's all very that's all very Fallout. Uh, something that's a little different from Fallout would be that there is a, a romance system. Uh, but you do have your own apartment, and I know there have been varying degrees of success of like what you own in a Fallout game, but you've always kind of been able to own something, have a chest that you can come back to and call your own. Uh, there is going to be vehicles in this game, uh, but uh, it seems like this is, is going to be a very deep RPG. They 
they mentioned that it was going to be very open and where they'll give you a goal. It sounds very Metal Gear Solid Five, where they'll give you a goal, but there is no clear path to do it. That's kind of like on you to figure out the best way, which is a little bit different from Fallout. But, you know, I think this is going to be something for Fallout fans to look for. I think the C3 was kind of bittersweet. It was bitter in that the Fallout game that was announced is probably not the game that very uh, diligent, persistent, uh, been there since the beginning Fallout fans are going to like. And if you are, that's totally fine. Uh, but I think this Cyberpunk 2077 is the sweet. This is kind of what we want. Uh, and honestly, it looks like it could even be a better Fallout game than what Bethesda would be able to bring to the table considering the technology, considering Cyberpunk's pedigree, and considering the very, very strong reactions from that closed-door demo. I think the last real important thing to talk about would be the game setting. And yeah, it's it's obviously not Fallout. That's going to be the biggest difference. It's not going to be some sparse post-apocalyptic land. It is going to be a kind of bustling city-like atmosphere. But I think a lot of people credit Bethesda and the Elder Scrolls and Fallout IP that they own for having such rich lore, and that's part of what makes them so interesting. I think Cyberpunk is going to have equally as deep lore. There's already lore out there. It's an established franchise, so you can even start to look into it much the same that you could start to be digging into Fallout lore uh, in preparation for Fallout 76. Uh, also, 77 is greater than 76, so I think that also, you know, obviously that helps. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if if you are a, a Fallout fan, are you super interested? Is this kind of now that now that it seems that we're not going to get a, a traditional Fallout game for a long time, considering we we now know of Starfield and Elder Scrolls Six, but nothing on Fallout, and this is coming out. Seems like it's going to be a while. Is this going to kind of scratch that itch? Uh, definitely let me know, and I will see you guys next time.